ever wanted to export your survey data? You can do so in three different ways. Today, we're going to go over exporting results in Slack, on the dashboard results feed, and on the poll details page. If you're already working in Slack and want to export your survey results without having to navigate back to the web, you can easily start the process to exporting your results by using the slash poly export command. Depending on your need, you can choose between doing a bulk export or by poll or survey type. We're going to look at both methods of exports within Slack. When clicking on bulk exports, you have the option to export all of the polls and surveys you've authored yourself between a certain date range. The default is all poll and survey data, but you can limit that to last month's or whichever date you wish. For this example, I'm going to export all of my survey results, which will be delivered to me through the Poly direct message channel. When I click on the link to download my export, I will be redirected to the exports page on the web app where I can see that the most recent export has been added to my export history. Now, at the bottom of the browser window, you can see that my export has successfully downloaded. Navigating back to my Slack desktop app, I'm going to use the slash poly export command again to quickly go over how to export a specific polar survey. All I have to do is select my polar survey from the drop down list here. It includes both polls, surveys, and recurring polls or surveys under this list. For one time polls and surveys, it will export automatically, but for recurring polls or surveys, you can choose to export that specific instance that you have selected or the entire series. For this example, I'm going to download the entire series. Just like the bulk exports, I'm going to receive a DM whenever my export is ready to download. Now I'm going to go over the second method of exporting your data, which is the exports page that can be found on the web app under the left hand sidebar. This is the page that you are redirected to when you do an export in Slack, and it also serves as an archive for all of your past exports. At the top of the page is a drop down menu for you to select the polar survey you wish to export, and to the right of that is a type of export, either all data, latest instance, or by date range. The export types will change dynamically depending on the export that you choose since some of the export types aren't supported by the choice of the polar survey export. As an example, the first option under the drop down is a bulk export. If I select that, I can see that I can only do all data or by a date range. If I select a recurring polar survey, I can choose between this instance or all data which will export the entire series. For one-off polls or surveys, you can only export by all data, which will give you the export for just a single poll or survey. Once you hit export, the file will automatically download to your desktop. If you happen to lose an old export, you can always navigate to this page to re-download the export or to delete the export. And finally, for the third and final method of exporting your data, you can do this while viewing detailed results for any particular survey or poll. Since you have to be on the details page to export, you cannot perform a bulk export of all of your polls and surveys you've authored. For this example, I'm going to drill into my quarterly employee engagement survey. Since I have an upcoming all hands where I will present these findings, I'm going to want to export this specific instance. To do so, I just click on view details on any of the survey questions on my dashboard results feed and then hit export. A window will pop open asking whether I want to export all data or just this instance. Once I've selected latest instance, I can now download the export. Downloading the export will redirect me back to the exports page just like the other two methods of exports that we went over. And now you have it. You can export your data in three different ways. And now we're all done here.